to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. TCU staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. First and ten. Ball on their own 46. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check back, 11, check back, 11. And he's taken down right around the 40. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. complete he's got room to work tackle made right around the 24 yard line the offense gets a first down here you got to give him some credit but really this is more about the defense when, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback especially when they're passing the football and try to get your own offense the ball back and that time they let their own offense down. and down he goes around the 24 yard line picked up a yard of anything on that run when a defense has help and run support from their corners it takes a lot of pressure off the linebackers and safeties great play from the 24 yard line it's second down here's a screen pass gets it to the back they'll bring him down at the 10. Number 11 makes the tackle. And this play is number eight on the drive. That makes it first and goal. Three down, three down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 13. On the ground, right side. Loose football. They fall up. The running back won't be happy that he lost the ball. He's got to forget about it and get ready for the next series. His offense is going to need him again. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And he is drilled at the 11. It's second and nine. Ball on the 11-yard line. He's to the 20. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. in trouble and he's level at the 46 
First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. Third down. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 41. Right Black 85. Black 85. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Number 98 was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Stanford could take the lead with this field goal. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, start offense. offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Stanford's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. Brought down around the 21-yard line. A one-yard gain by the half. Back. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Look like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Defense. Looks like they got a little too anxious trying to jump the snap count. He's to the 40, and they push him out at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Complete. He's got room. Tackle around the 45-yard line. Number 25 makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. 17's Mike. Mike 17. We played one. Now this one's scoreless. Set to resume action here in quarter number two. Deadlocked after the first 15 minutes. Mike 17, Mike 17. Let's go, let's go. Gets out to around the 35. Gain of 10 on the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35 yard line. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. I don't even know why this team showed Let's go, up. check, check. Easy, easy, easy. Go, 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 go. Run inside, stop quickly. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. Let's go! Got a man, watch out here. And he's taken down at the 29 yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four.
They're about four yards away here on third down. Watch 32. Watch 32. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. TCU is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Gets out to around the 48. They line up in the jumbo set. They'll get him for a loss. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. And they'll get him in the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Ready. Black 98. Black 98. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Makes it fourth and long. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. TCU holds a field goal lead. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. That makes, that makes it first, first and From their own 30-yard line. First down. Yep. Mike 17, Mike 17. Yeah. Slings it. A pickup of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 35-yard line. Mike 17. Mike 17. Red 18. Regular, regular, regular. Caught with room to work. He's out of bounds at the 38. Gaining three yards. That'll bring up third and two. Runs it left for a decent game. Mm -hmm. That's, That's a game, a game of seven, seven on the play. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody opened downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. They bring him down. Well, they 
sent the cornerback, and he was able to make the sack. The offensive line was just too slow to pick him up. By the time they saw him, it was just too late. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. TCU has a three-point lead. Fires it out. To the 10. Touchdown, TCU! And he converts the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 80-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 10-0. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. 36, 36 the mic. Lost the ball, fumble. Recovered by the offense. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 28. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. That's a great tackle. The 48-yard line. Stanford's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Just gets rid of it. Feeling the pressure and he fumbles the football. It's recovered. That's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Let's go! Steps out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Game of 12 on the play. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Mike 17, Mike 17. They come out in a five-wide set. First down. Out, 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 out. Here we go. Motion, motion, eight. Motion, motion, check, motion, check. Motion, easy, motion. easy, easy, easy. Nice play to set up first and goal. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Scrambling around. Tackle made around the one yard line. Easy, easy, easy. Rally! Rally! That brings him second and goal. Goes to the halfback, touchdown! Nice little catch.
catch there by the running back for the score. I think the defense was looking for a running play there. That's a nice job by the offense mixing things up. And he tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 34-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This halftime lead can make a team feel as if the game is over, that they've already done their work, that they put the other guy away. But I think the first few minutes of the second half could be paramount if they want to build on this lead and make sure that they finish it with a victory. Well, absolutely. If you come out and you give up a, a score right away, you're talking about making this game within two scores and, and making it a little bit closer than you want it to. So if you can come out get a stop, get a score, you can put this game out of reach right away. You can make the other side extremely one-dimensional, make them pass happy, and put them in a situation where you know exactly what you're going to get from them. So you got to come out in the first few minutes of the third quarter, establish yourself, and shut that door of any hope for the other side. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Horned Frogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled at the 27. A two-yard run by the halfback. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. Nice run there. receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 49. the 49 and the halfback's got nowhere to go this linebacker's had a couple years of experience and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler as you can see from that last stop and he tackles him hard at the 48 They'll line it up again on third down. Caught and he's hit immediately. Three yards there on the play. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. This punt, if he gets it where he wants it, can really change the field position in this football game. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. 
second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 14. Come on, let's go. I got one, I got one, I got one. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they'll bring him down behind the line. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. it to the back. They bring him down in the backfield. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. And this one is a beauty. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Oh, a big hit there to stop him. That's good here, two That makes it second and eight. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. He's in trouble. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. Setting up the play action. Quick throw. Tackle at the 20. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. From the 20-yard line, first down. And he's taken down around the 11-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Tackled after decent pickup. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Defense and their short yardage packet. Looking for the corner, and down he goes, right around the four yard line. No game on the play. That brings him second and goal. Brought down at the three. This is the eighth play of the drive. They run it, and they got it before he could score. We head to the fourth. 17 to nothing. Horn Frog. Just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Come get some. Come on here. Come get some. He don't want it. Run it. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
So a nine play 46 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown. You know Brad a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. But this time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback. In the this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Good outside run there. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30 yard line. 17's Mike. Mike 17. Hey, keep it up. And he's level at the 33. The action keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. Mike 17, Mike 17. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. He's at the 40. Makes it to the 37. in tight on the line. Gets out to around the 25. First and 10, ball on the 25. Taken down around the 16-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. And they get nice yardage on that one. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over it. From the 12-yard line, second down, just under three to go in regulation. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. That brings up third and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. Slings it. He's hit and taken down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. And this is what power football is all about, folks. That's not going to do it. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. He's got an opening. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Stanford's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own eight-yard line. Second down. 
He's to the 20. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Stanford will have one timeout remaining. to about the 25-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. They'll work the right side. Nice run, and he's run down. Third down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike 17. A little over a minute in the game. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 41-yard line. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. three yards to get the first down here on third down. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. He might not be able to get the pass off. He gets sacked on the play. Caught with room to work. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. And the ball game's over. The Horn Frogs get the win, 17-7. The Cardinals, seven. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.